How are we doing there boys and girls? Matthew's here and welcome back to another video and 9.1 is live! It is live everywhere! Guys over in the NA have had it a little bit longer than us in the EU, but it is live and people are out there, they're running about, they're doing their Corthia stuff, they're running through Torghast, they're having a bunch of fun. But the question on many people's lips is, oh, these Corthite crystals, what are these things worth? What should I be selling them for? And the crafters out there are thinking, well, what should I be buying them for? Now, without any sort of data to back this up, it's been a little bit hard to put a guesstimate to it, but the first day's worth of uh, interest in these, at least, is bringing some light to the situation. Now, Corthite crystals are, for the most part, relatively rare. If you're not sure what we're talking about, you'll probably have come across one. It's this little thing, Corthite crystal. You can get this from... Uh, doing some dailies over in Corthia. You can get these out of treasures if you're really lucky. Uh, your weekly chests that you pick up by doing your assaults and, the, and the, the main meta quest for the zone, you can get them out of. There's a few sources, but by the time you've played around in Corthia for a few hours, you might have a couple of these. And the obvious thing to think about is, well, are they worth anything? Can I sell them? And yes, yes, you can. So what I want to do today, this is going to cover sort of both aspects. This is going to give those crafters an indication of what they should be buying them for. And it's going to give the people that are gathering these up an indication to roughly what they should expect to comfortably sell them for. Um, so we're going to use some historical data. Now, a lot of the information on this is rough numbers. These are rough guesstimates. There's no way for me to possibly give you an exact price um, because it's subjective to each individual server. But I want you to take this as a, as, a, as a ground basis for what you should be crafting these things at. So let's take a little bit of a look then. I've put it into a notepad so I had to plan this out a little bit ahead of time. So <laughs> slightly different format of video today. But I want to use an example. And the example I want to use is the Umberhide leggings. The reason I want to pick these is because they were relatively popular in 9.0 they're going to continue to be relatively popular in patch 9.1 um, and many people are aware of what they are now on behind leggings are of course a leather working legendary um, and is it as of patch 9.0 the maximum quality of them was rank 4 or item level 235 and of course in patch 9.1 that is being increased that is going all the way up to ranks 5 and rank 6s uh, with the top end being 262 item level I believe you'll be crafting them in a few weeks. Um, but is there any information that we can go by to give us a sniff of what we should be valuing these at? Well. What we do know is just how much rank 4s were costing people to make in patch 9.0. There are some other materials, but I've kept it to the main ones just to make it a bit simpler. There was 20 enchanted heavy callus hide and 20 callus hide went into making a single pair of these rank 4 umber hide legs. In patch 9.1, we're basically, for the rank 6 at least, we're looking at basically the same, but with the addition of 40 corthite crystals. Um, these Corthite crystals, when you take 40 of them, makes the optional reagent that basically gives it the boost. So you put a Corthite crystal, add, sorry, add the Vestige of Origins onto a rank 4 and you'll create a rank 6. Um, so we know that there's roughly the same materials just with the addition of these new Corthite crystals. So we can start to do some maths with this. We can start to work out what was going on. What was happening in patch 9.0 though? Well, we know for a fact that Heavy Callus Hide was relatively expensive back then. When the expansion first launched, Heavy Callus Hide was not uncommon to see it going for 2,000 gold a piece. Now, before you jump in the comments, I know some realms were higher, some realms were lower. Um, the price did dip over time, but early days, it was not uncommon for realms to see Heavy Callus Hide at 2,000 gold a piece. Today, the story is much different. Heavy Callus Hide, ha people have had out, like days and days, months at this point to be able to farm it up. The average market price of Heavy Callus Hide has dropped considerably. And I still think 600 gold for a single piece of Heavy Callus Hide is pretty fair. It's a fair number. Um, so we can use these two numbers and we can start to work out, well, based on those... What are these Corthite crystals worth? So you can do some maths there, right? If you're spending 2,000 gold a piece on your heavy callus hide back in patch 9.0, you are spending 120,000 gold, roughly, give or take, uh, to craft your rank 4. Today, though, those same 
60 heavy callous hides is likely only to cost you 36,000 gold. So if we want the end result legendary to cost roughly the same, we know that people would spend X amount in patch 9.0. We would hope that people to get the latest and greatest legendary in patch 9.1, they'd be willing to spend a similar amount. Um, we'll talk about what that number is in a little bit more detail soon, but it will start to slowly make sense. What you can see though, is this 84,000 gold worth of saving on your heavy callus hide currently. Um, this 84,000 gold is where we can put the cost of these Corthite crystals. So, doing some further maths on that, if we were to take the 84,000 gold that we've saved, we've not actually saved it, but you get my point, the 84,000 gold and divide that by 40, that gives us a value of 2,100 gold for each Corthite crystal. Now, like I said, these numbers are only rough and there is some assumptions in this. First big assumption is that people are willing to spend what they did in patch 9.0 money on their 9.1 legendaries. Now, we may, may or may not see that be the case, but one thing we do know for sure is there's not enough Corthite crystals kicking about. These things are rare. Uh, the rarity of them is going to mean that the ones that want them first are going to have to pay a premium to get them. Um, one thing I like to look at is the cost of the token. It was relatively common to see the value of the best legendaries sneaked just under the value of a token. Um, now, <laughs> it, it seems a bit cheeky from the goblin perspective, but it was done for a very good reason, right? If somebody wanted that shiny, shiny legendary, they can very easily make a link between the cost in terms of gold and they can go, oh, well, hang on, I can just go out and buy a legendary with my credit card and I go all of a sudden get my best in my best rank of legendary very, very quickly. That same mentality, I think, will follow true. Um, so let's just say then a, a total cost of about 150,000 gold is what we're looking at for these top end legendaries. Um, let's take a, look, take a little look at the token price then. If we think that people will pay up to a token in value for their legendary, in the NA as of recording this, the token price sits just under 200,000 gold. There's a very, very good chance that this price will dip in the next few days. But over on the EU, it's 280,000 gold. It's considerably more expensive. So what this ultimately means is this 2,100 gold as a rough valuation for your Corthite crystals um, doesn't leave much wriggle, ro wiggle room for people over in the NA. If you're spending 150,000 gold on crafting an item and you need to be theoretically selling it for less than a single token, there's only about 40,000 gold difference there. There's not much room for movement. So I would recommend if you play over on the NA realms, you look at getting your Corthite crystals over the next few days for an average of 750 to 1500 gold. If you're paying within those sorts of brackets, you'll be able to craft those rank fives, craft those rank sixes, get them on the auction house. They're not gonna to be too expensive for you to craft, but they're still going to be sort of reasonable-ish for people to buy. I think it's that happy medium. If you play in the EU, you have a little bit more wiggle room because the token is more, right? You can be paying between 1,000 to 2,000 gold, I would guesstimate, for these Corthite crystals. Um, and the same properties all apply. It won't cost you way too much to craft the things. Uh, and it means that when you try and sell that base legendary item, it will still be within the realms of possibility for people to go out there and buy. So that's really all I've got for you today, boys and girls. That is the Corthite crystal sort of... Uh, like I said, these numbers are not exact. This, this is a sort of a guesstimation uh, numbers for you to aim towards. If you play on a really big realm, you may find prices even less than this. Just out of curiosity, I'm going to show you what's happening on my realm right now. Corthite crystals at the moment. EU, the game has been live, what, like maybe eight hours at this point. Um, I don't play on the highest population server, but there's already two... 200 Corthite crystals on the auction house and they've <laughs> the first ones were listed for ridiculous numbers but they've already come down to about 5,000 gold I'd imagine over the next few days goblins will start looking at this and consider buying them but like I said if you want a rough ballpark of what I would expect to be a reasonable price there you go 
work towards those. There's a little bit maths, bit, a little bit of maths to back it up, and I think it's somewhat sensible. Let me know in the comments down below if you uh, if if you agree or disagree with this thought process. Um, I know not everybody is great with maths, and so I tried to keep it relatively simple. I'm sure somebody out there can throw this in an Excel spreadsheet and do some real complicated stuff with it. Um, but I think it gets my point across. These corthite crystals are somewhat rare. But you've got to be really careful how many of them, how much you spend on each one, simply for the fact that you need 40 of them for every legendary. So there we go. Last thing I want to do if you made it this far in this video, though, boys and girls, is thank my Patreons. Now, I am amazed by the amount of people that have jumped onto the Patreon recently. We did a bit of an overhaul to the tiers of the Patreon. There are now three tiers. You can be a goblin, a silver goblin, or a gold goblin, and there are the respective perks attached to it including some very juicy things that people seem to like like my tsm groups um so a big thank you to all the patrons that have jumped on on board with this recently and if you wish to consider joining the patreon i would highly highly appreciate it it makes sure the lights stay on and it, you know i can avoid clickbait if we can uh, keep the patreon numbers up so thank you once again boys and girls um but anyway that's me done for the day i'm gonna go get me some food i'm gonna continue playing patch noise patch 9.1 and i'll either catch you on stream or in the next video enjoy patch 9.1 boys and girls i'll catch you later peace